nightmare can take so many forms. Snow, broken bridges. Oh. I know. I always wonder, was this caused by nature or by the ghost? These will be the hounds. An imaginative name. Ceridian's Island is a pleasant place, but you never knew it from here. Better to keep it that way, eh? Everyone's safe. The landscape here is more pleasant. There are fields and pastures and better weather. Can you feel the warmer air? I don't feel it, not really. But I know it's there. If I focus, I can still see the beauty of the world. I'm not tempted to think the warmer air means a warmer welcome. I suspect I'll be wrong. Trust that instinct, young apprentice, for it will serve you well. I'm still here. I must be here.
whatever grip it is that my man has. Bridges up. Wonder why. To keep folk in, or to keep something out. Tenants, what most excellent news. What blessings. I applaud your valorous deeds. On fate, I say, dead sir, I thought you were dead. There we are. Do not make light of such matters, my friend, for the devil's wrath is wide awake, and his claw scratches at our door. speak of darker matters. For we erudite men of higher learning and of evil yet works, there is much work to be done. Indeed there is. Yes, yes. Forgive the inelegance of my welcome. You are alone. Do I surmise that Miss Duarte is gone? She knew the rest. So will I go in unto the king, and if I perish, I perish. So said Esther to Mordecai, such wisdom, such courage, so sorry for your loss. Grief is a journey long and painful, but you do not walk the road alone. There comes a time when you must let go of your will. In time, God healed my wounds. May you two find peace. Most burdensome time for you. I must move with haste to business. Beg once more for your help. What's going on? It must be serious if you're asking for my help. Since your defeat at the meeting house, the devil 
heartened and emboldened, goes from strength to strength. He insinuates himself among my people, reveling in the suffering of the disease he unleashes upon us. It pits one against the other. Suspicion tears this community apart once again. All this to weaken my people and lead them away from the light of God. In times of disease, we need doctors. We need better. Not treat the symptoms will tear out the roots. An agent of the devil walks among us. A witch! You must find her. Or him, as it may be. You and I share great expertise. But I am a man of position. Well, you, sir, are much more familiar with feeling. Go. Meet my people. Walk amongst them. Learn which of them secretly serves the devil. We may expunge this evil malady from our body politics. What makes you think there is a witch at work here? I, sir, I'm a man of God and intellect. I can read the signs. When a so-called mystery disease afflicts half of my people overnight, there can be only one culprit. It is the devil's doing, sir. Probably through one of his sins. Well, you see, I understood immediately what we were going to be tempted. There are no strangers here. A good sign, looks like. No one has fled. A guilty woman, or a man, I suppose, remains within the village. There's only one who saw the evil and the world, and this one should see her die for it. And as, of course, as did the last one, as we were the next. Some years ago, when they were their tigers, and they were no execution of the witch. It pains me. My business is with a little bit of fear. For a fee, yes, I know. You can't deny evil practitioners exist. A few years ago, I had to cleanse this community from such a threat. Why would she curse your colony? Why would anyone choose to separate from God's flock? I'm afraid some just want to see the world burn, Mr. McCree. By the grace and charity of the good Lord, she was exposed. It was my honor to serve him in sending her to hell where she belonged. Her mask was a good one, as if the witch of not knelt upon her too. But you cannot fool a man of faith and intellect. No, sir, you cannot. Why are you saying it, but for a Puritan paradise, you seem to get more than your fair share of witches. God has not forsaken us. But someone here does the devil's work. Find me a witch, Mr. McRae. Return this place to the Lord. I'm a working man, Governor. But the Lord does seem happy to pay. So I'll do what I can. I'll take my leave of you, Governor. Of course. Outside, let's take the stairs. Only with us, the first house on the left shall be your home. Another witch hunt. You're the governor's son, right? I, uh, yes, sir. Lamentation Haskell. Friends call me Lammy. Oh, they would if I had any. Please, call me Lammy. This is not the time. No, not the time.
Professor Sir Charlie Wood, only things being as they are, everyone is acting strange. Peace. Good day to you, Good day to you, sir. How are you, Mr. Bachelor? I do not need the services of a heretic today. And nor do the people of New England. This is pleasant. Seen anything strange of me? Do you speak of the disease eating at the fire of We've sealed the weather, closed homes and houses, and said our prayers. It has not worked. Apart from that, have you noticed anyone behaving strangely? I have seen the air of Mistress Barrett looking by the well.
being courted by two brothers at once, really in his world. This is true. Some Caleb? You first, young man. Haunted. To the point of madness. Ruth and Alexander, maybe? Maybe. But something feels off. We jump to no conclusions. Instead, we gather proof. God's Acre? God's Acre. Here we are, 
Let us find the graves of Alexander and Ruth, and whatever God cared of acting so strange. Someone's been doing some undertaking. In New Eden, there's much to be done. Three robbers. Yes, but what exactly were they stealing? You if undertakers did this, they should find other work. I doubt there's a job on Earth that suits whatever did this. Decoys to distract wayward spectres. Rudimentary. Someone's had a little training. Here did lie Alexander Watson. Did Caleb take their bodies? Someone did. And he's at the top of my list. They made quite the mess. Perhaps the decoys may show us the way. Follow the path. Don't get too close. I'll try. This way. Right now, talk later. indeed. Shrines now? With bones? It's like Lady Blackwood's boudoir around here. Shreds of a memory linger here. Who oh, there, fella? Mm, nasty, aren't they? Nasty, yes. But also shreddy. Very poor work. like a butchered version of the ritual of lesser palingenesis. The ritual? That ritual? The one that brings someone back? That ritual? Yes, that ritual. And now, I lift the curtain. As verb unto heart, as heart unto flesh. Death's knot is unsevered, and I shall cut it. Oh! 
evoke a ghost without a body for it to inhabit. So it took his. Caleb is no longer Caleb. Is he still in there too? He used pieces of his wife and also of his brother. Ruth, Alexander, Caleb could be any combination of them in there. Let's go find out which. That ritual, not... I suspect it's beyond me. It's not, but we agreed you won't need it. Besides, Caleb's work was poor. Your work is good. A ritual like that. Good is not a word that comes to mind.
observer of sensibility. <laughs> Maybe. Not Alexander. I suspect that he's not to look about Ruth. Bush of rotten corn. You! What do you have there? Stop right there, you rank ramp! Whatever you found, it ain't yours! You bury this part to accusation of the truth. I've found you out. You, a ghost, were digging in the ashes of a dead woman's house. You're ill positioned to call me odd. Don't think. Felt your presence before. Stole your tongue and escaped with you. Fuck up and die. I'm in charge of you. No. Push you, Anton. I'll speak. I'm Ruth. I hear you. I'm Anton. I'm Anton. I'm Anton. I'm Anton. I'm Anton. And this is the end. Help me. Not the right, you hear? She's not the right. Leaves 
me free to go. No! Let us stay. Please, Ruth. Let us stay. Look at you. You're counterfeit. A sham of a thing. Your so-called life is no life at all. Ruth lied and stole your life. Like when Tyler lied, you lied and stole his body. We're ending this nonsense now. Alexander, you were wrong. But Ruth owes you not. Not her wife, not her death. Send me away, Banisher. Let the devil stoke the flames of hell for me. And I'll see if I die. Take your head out your arse, you're not that important. Right, hold still, both of you. Let me bury you in the park. Thank you. 
Find a way around the locked door. He was studying botany. My botany. The incisions are clean. The precision of an expert. There's magic here. Not a thing. He mentioned an old mill. Seemed fascinated by the plane. Remember what we found at Caleb Watson. Maybe we're not looking in the right place. If I had something to hide, I might hide it in an abandoned mill. His research. Perfect to hide secrets. Well, he's not here for pleasure, that's for sure. Peaceful. Like home on a good day. Oh, it's hell anyway. He felt like playing with the lambs. Blair preferred to feed them. And I was too busy dreaming. And you? Oh, I cooked them for dinner. A gateway to the mythical Aramu, whatever that is. Otherwise, terrible tragedy, dark doings, sick secrets, and a wild guess. 